resets the set and have to go for glory. Kristen Thomas is going to keep USA in this tournament. Inside, let off, launch it away, Magali Harvey. Can she go all the way in at the corner? Canada oh. scored. Carter's got pace when the out is quick. Carter for the corner. Carter's over. What a try. Position in front of the post, good handling from Belchos, it's a difficult pass, Marjack straightens things up, makes the bust through the line, gets through two tackles, and Mandy Marjack, who scored the last try against the Spaniards, scores the first try against the Samoans. And you just got the feeling that that Samoan line was getting a little more ragged. Here it came, the pick up off the toes, in through two tackles, good acceleration, and then the step inside to make the kick a little easier for Magali Harvey. That's a good starter for Canada. They had to wait 11 minutes for it, but now that it's arrived, Soratier and his coaching crew will be more than happy with their lot. Katie Augustine hits a target. That's a great clean line up. Can they get the driving ball on here? Just turning that right wheel. They're up, they can smell the whitewash, they can't get the ball over it. Sang ordering her forwards into position. The great step comes from Linnell Kugler and the try follows. And what a start from the Eagles. Watch out, I've seen them training. They look strong, they look physical, and they certainly have had an excellent start here. Certainly they were impressive in their team run yesterday, but great awareness from Kugler to step off her right foot and then power away over the line. Fresh legs for the Canadians now looking to try and work in the hard channels down Main Street and close is where they go again now. Elardi gets it and pops the pass off nicely to Mervyn. Canada looking for their first points of the game. That's the halfway line you can see, so they've just entered the New Zealand half. Some decoy runners and they get it wide to Paquin. Paquin will step. Paquin will go through the gap, then the offload to Russell. Kelly Russell offloads to Zussman. Zussman's quick, one more pass. Guzlik will get there. Team try for Canada. It's taken 61 minutes, but it's been worth the wait. What a response. Well, she scored a try against New Zealand in June, did Guzlik. But that was fantastic. It went through so many hands. They're playing the offloading game now. Canada speeding things up. And just at the right moment, they chose to go wide. Paquin tackled by Sarah Goss, but they kept the ball alive. Zussman knew she had the support. Grusnik just on her inside shoulder there on the right. Fabulous. It's about time we've seen them do what we know that they pull off so many other times. They just needed a bit of pull, a bit of pill, and a little bit of space. Spain need an exit play. What I mean by that is that they're hard out in their own territory. They need to be able to kick it and get it out of there. Asani, some pressure comes on. Gray feeds the loop around. Rosier gives it out to Thomas. Now to Ember. Tapper's on the end of the chain here. Tapper into the contact. Tapper's gone. Weak defense from Spain. An absolute class from Naya Tapper. Try number one. Well, this is where the USA will kill teams. It is out wide with that double note, triple threat of Ember. Look at that lovely offload from Ember and absolutely just pushed off the defense, the defense of Ichibaria. He cannot give these women space. It was too much space. They needed a press up fast for that defensive line of Spain, but talk about power on the end. They've had forward ascendancy and as predicted by Cardinana, Kelly Russell now picks and goes. Belchos has to go back to pick up the bouncing ball but it is still there for her team. The advantage is still there. Nels releasing. Tracy Grusnick, quick presentation. As the forwards come round the corner, Nels again. Miller pulls it out, Tessier with a little lob pass, and it's going to be Amanda Thornborough. 
Thornborough levels things up and this tit-for-tat game continues to produce quality rugby. He always had the numbers. Look at this, Russell for the second row and now it's quick ball. Good clean out. The numbers are loaded to the right-hand side and they get it there finally. Alex Tessier gets it over the top to an unmarked Amanda Thornborough. Two tries in that opener against Hong Kong. Indeed, two tries off the bench for Amanda Thornborough. Now able to be in position to finish things off very simply. James out to tap up from a standing start. The ball is lost and Natua has it. Release wait! Now, Falma Silly. This is a Britsky Napatali. That's charged off great. So it's play on. Waka can't handle it, but Bridges can. So Bridges goes through the middle. Then the pass. Here's Kalta. Kalta's got pace. Winniata's quick. Kelta for the corner. Kelta's over. What a try. You've got to take your opportunities at test matches. And Alif Kelta brings America back. Well, she's one of their best athletes, isn't she, Alif Kelta? We haven't seen her running with the ball too often so far. But that's what she can do. Have a look here. Waka was defending and gave up. It was a lovely offload. And Kelta, she had open spaces. Winniata was coming across. So was Woodman. But neither of them really knew who was going to take Kelta. And Kelta ended up fending off Winniata, the smaller of the two. Because Woodman didn't want to cut down the line, I think, of Winniata. What an individual effort. And it could be a crucial one in the semi final. Keeping things moving now, Snow Silt. Some width. How well? Oh, the ball goes loose. Hannah Jones had a hack at it, but Canada are the ones to pick it up. Blackwood up to halfway. Canada suddenly sensing a try to finish things off. Elisa Allery, a chip, a chase, a charge. And Canada have got their fourth try. Second try for the right winger, Allery. Two against Hong Kong. She's matched it with a brace against Wales. I like the awareness, though, but it comes from the brute force of this young lady, Latoya Blackwood. Get out of my way. Beat it, she says. Sets it up in the offload. The nice short pass. Look at this, Zussman. The last one sees a right-hand winger. And then the chip and chase. This is a skill that every winger must have. Keeps her composure and finishes it. This girl is outstanding. Alyssa Allery, brilliant. Yeah, the Canadian vice captain showing the finishing prowess out on the wing. That's beautifully executed. So controlled, so quick. And Canada pounce for their fourth try. Good pressure coming on from Meg Jones. She read that one superbly. Little offload is there. Is the door opening? Chris Thomas on the inside. Fleetwood trying to get back. Thomas resets the set nav to go for glory. Kristen Thomas is going to keep USA in this tournament. What a story. 30 seconds, half time on the clock, and Kristen Thomas scores the try. All of their arms go in the air. That's the offload that makes it brilliant. And then the awareness for the pass inside. And then it's all about the pace of Kristen Thomas. Inside, Danielle Waterman. She can do nothing about it. Kay Wilson desperately trying to get it. And you can see behind her the arms going up. A brilliant, brilliant finish from the USA. Interesting conversation here. The referee suggesting the tight hit Puerto Rico is going to bind first. Oh, she's in difficulty there on the right-hand side of the French scrum, isn't she? In France, well, they've coughed up possession there as the Canada look to bring it away through. Marchak looking for Harvey. Harvey's away over the 22, giving chases my own. Harvey inside, Ledouf, lunch it away, Magali Harvey. Can she go all the way in at the corner? Canada oh. scores!
What a fantastic try. Backs to the wall, right on their own try line. They stole the scrum. And I tell you what, the loose head prop, Marie Pierre Pino Reed, can take much credit for that. Be the confidence of the Canadian. Look at this. Superb scrummaging here from the Canadian eight. Great control here while well, she picks it out of the scrum. And then it's Allery, she does well. And then it's a handling under pressure here. The quick hands, the French alignment. Well, it was thrown to bits. It was in disarray, wasn't it? And then it was down, and it's all about one person. And that person is Magali Harvey. Inside out, the balance, the poise. I love the way she's been shouted to the line by a teammate in support there. I can't see who it was. What a finish. 80 metres running from Harvey. Well done to the Canadian eight. This game has been turned on its head. Great effort coming back there by Liev. She tried everything, but it was all in vain there. Five. Six. France had scored 23 tries getting into this match. Add the five, they're up to 28 as Gray takes the ball off the back. Just seems to get better and better, and Tapper gets possession, keeps driving those legs. You can see the determination. Brings in three defenders. Moshiani out to James. Nicole James, the 28-year-old. Side hit. Back, back. Now to Kinnett, and it's slow ball again, isn't it? Bridges thought about the offload and has thrown it back, but now France look interested. And France no, have no. possession. India plays half back. Lovely run here from Poublant. And loses the ball. Giavale has got pace, gets it out to Ember. Ember knocks out one of her own players. And then kicks it into the hands of Kauta. Now it's about pace. And Kauta's got plenty of it. Kauta passes. Ember scores. Unselfish play from Kauta. And what about the reaction from Cheddar Ember? Brilliant. Brilliant response from the United States. We've still got just over nine minutes to go, folks. Don't think this is finished yet. Of Javale, who's also played soccer for her country. And then Emba uses the brain, put, pushes a kick through, which somehow went to Kelta. I don't know how, what happened there. Must have bounced off a French arm. Kelta has got fitness, repetitive fitness. So she was right there, able to speed away but decided to give it to Ember to make sure that right. she got over because she was being chased by the very fast Anna Reed. 